Hey dolls! Long time no see as far as sit down talky talky videos go. Let me get a drink of my um, McDonald's sweet tea real quick. My mom makes tea like just like this so so good also peep my little care bear creeping back there in the corner <laughs> okay anyway today we have another pastel pixie kawaii box and i think that this one is the spooky edition because it is october which means halloween is right around the corner what are you guys gonna be for halloween this year Comment down below, tell me. I'm sorry, I probably won't be able to get to doing any Halloween tutorials or DIYs or anything like that. I've been so crazy busy with work. Seriously, work just like takes over your life. But you guys can watch my past videos to get some like tutorial, DIY, inspiration, all that stuff. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about the Koi box from Pastel Pixie. So to get your own, I will leave the link down below. This is the third pastel pixie box. The first one was the Minhara box. The second one was the Magical Girl box. And I believe this one is supposed to be like spooky cute or something. Oh my gosh, creepy cute is the box. I think, yes, creepy cute, yay. So it's gonna be like pastel goth kind of themed. Um, what is Creepy Cute? Creepy Cute isn't just for the spooky season. It's the perfect balance of spooky and sweet and can be worn all year round. Similar to Pastel Goth, Creepy Cute uses lavenders, pinks, and mint hues for that hint of sweetness to even out the spook. Okay, so we have some art from Miss Jedi Flip on the little card on the front right, right when you open the box i also have miss jedi flips pieces from the magical girl box as well as the minhara box i have them hung up on my wall over there in my little corner so i was looking i, I couldn't see because there was a glare on one of them but yeah there were two boxes prior to this one so this is the third so very very cute artwork from Miss Jedi Flip. I will link her Instagram down below. You guys know I am such a fan of her work. It is just so, so beautiful. She's recently been um, drawing the Sanrio characters like in her style and they're absolutely precious. I love her take on Humming Mint. So, so, so cute. Okay, anyway, here we go. Here's the box, little spooky box. In the past two boxes, we've gotten a t-shirt in each box, and I don't know if we get a t-shirt in this box, but there is a bag in here. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta rip it open. Hold on. Oh, I do see a t-shirt, so we get a t-shirt as well, but look at this bag. The zipper kind of sucks a little, but the actual like print job, print quality is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I kind of wish that there was like a cute little keychain or something, or like the, um, the zipper was like shaped like a little skull or a bones or something. It had like a little kind of imprint in it or something. That would be cute. Look at this bag. <gasps> So precious. It says creepy cute on there. This is perfect for the spooky season. But again, this stuff can be wrapped all year round. So cute. There's little eyeballs, little bat hearts. I love the little bat hearts. I think those are my favorite. So cute. And then it is just black on the inside. Just a cute little makeup bag. Or you could use this for school supplies. Whatever you so choose. Then we have... Deadly Sins Cosmetics, vegan and cruelty free. So we have some cosmetics in here. Matte liquid lipstick, yes, that is my favorite. Oh, is this black? Is this literally just a black lipstick? What is it called? Gola? It says Gola on the bottom, like G-U-L-A. That reminds me of Gola Gola Island. Do you remember that from a million years ago? Gola Gola Island, Gola Gola. Okay, so, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use this. This is almost exactly the same color I'm wearing right now. Oh my, it's a little bit darker, but look at this. It's so close. This one's a little bit more purple, but oh my gosh, hold on. 
It's really pretty. I will actually wear this. This looks really good on me. I love that they included a makeup product to go in the makeup bag. Like, logic. That's great. So we'll see how this wears throughout the video. I literally just layered it on top of another lipstick. I really do like the purple hue. And it doesn't make my teeth look too yellow, right? Love that. Okay. Okay, so we have a pin. You guys know in the pastel pixie boxes, you get a pin every time. So here we have a little eyeball wand with some bat wings and some little devil horns. This is very cute. Definitely not my favorite pin. I'm not really a fan of like the eyeballs. I like the creepy cute stuff with like little bats and hearts and stuff, but I'm not really into like the gravestones or the eyeballs or things like that so much but i love the colors of this this is really cute i will be putting this on my pin board regardless so there's that okay then we have a keychain that we could totally put on here as i mentioned um this is awesome okay so this is from cherry rabbit and i believe that they included a print of their artwork in the last box but this is a gorgeous little Halloween girl. Look how detailed this is. And I love the quality of this keychain. It's very cute. I absolutely love this little clasp right here. It is a star. I don't know if you can see. It is really hard to kind of push it open. But it does push open. So you can see you kind of got to work it a little bit. But this is cute. So you could put this on the little thing. So they did include a little keychain that you could put on it, which is really cool. So again, that is from Cherry Rabbit, spelled exactly how it sounds. There isn't a website on here, but um, I'm sure that they have an Instagram. Okay, next we have a pint-sized heroes nightmare before christmas blind bag oh my gosh i hope i get zero zero is my favorite i love zero so much but here you can see the little blind bags on the back i'm not a huge fan of nightmare before christmas go ahead come at me but um yeah if it's not zero i'll probably give it away in a random poshmark package that i ship out or something because i don't really it's not zero it's the little jack-o'-lantern guy. Looks just like this. I don't know. He's cute. Maybe I'll give him to a family member or I'll put him in a surprise little Poshmark package when I ship out Poshmark packages. I do that. Um, if you guys do ever order something from my Poshmark, this is not sponsored by the way, but if you guys ever do order anything off my Poshmark, I will include like a random little goodie sometimes. So I might just throw him in there in one of the ones plates this month. So you never know and then the last item is the shirt and i think i'm actually okay there is like a little ouija board little maneuver thingy so if that offends you sorry and it is so cute it's got some skulls bones again eyeballs i'm not really a fan of the eyeballs but i do love um the little bats the little candies that are around um the crescent moon is very cute the bows with the bones in them that's adorable not a huge fan of the little ouija board thing and the eyeballs but other than that i will totally wear this especially as a night shirt these things are so like soft and they're kind of thin, but they're soft. So they make really good sleep shirts. That's what I usually wear mine for, is for sleeping. Like when I'm sleeping at night, they're not so restricting or anything like that, but very, very cute. I love the big lollipop. And it just says spooky all over it. So cute. This is adorable. So thank you so much, Pastel Pixie, for sending me yet another one of your boxes to unbox and review on my channel for my followers and thank you guys for following along or watching this not really following along but um as far as this box i really really admire this box a lot because everything was on theme i found that the first box that we got and maybe there was one item in the last box that wasn't really magical girl themed it didn't really go with the box i didn't think but this box everything is with the theme even this little 
Deadly Sins lipstick. I mean, it even looks kind of Halloween-ish and spooky looking. So I would say that this is awesome. I would say that this is probably their best box yet because you're getting two totally 100% original items plus the pin, so technically three, and then plus this little keychain that wasn't designed by Pastel Pixie but by Cherry Rabbit. I love, I've mentioned this before, I love that Pastel Pixie reaches out to smaller shops or smaller brands and includes some of their items in their boxes. I think that's a great way to kind of advertise smaller shops um, because we all know how hard it is to get noticed these days on social media with so many people competing. Um, I do wish that uh, Cheeky Rabbit would have included some sort of URL or Instagram account or something on this little card because if you just show, not Cheeky Rabbit, excuse me, Cherry Rabbit, <laughs> sorry I was mispronouncing that, um, it doesn't have like a website or anything so if someone really did enjoy this they wouldn't know exactly where to look and I think in one of the last boxes they did include their URL with like their Etsy shop or something and I was missing that in this box. So if you want to advertise yourself and promote your stuff, tell people where to go. Like, don't be afraid to put your URL on your little business card or your little um, backs when you're sending out your pins and keychains and products. Even this little sticker from Deadly Sins was pretty cool. So I can't forget about that. And again, I love Miss Jedi's work. So I love Miss Jedi Flip's work, excuse me. So I love that they always include one of her prints because I just hang this up on my wall. And then it tells a little bit about the backstory behind the theme of the box. And it's just overall really good. So I am very, very pleased with this box. If you want to get one of your own, I will link the Pastel Pixie website where you can get one down below. Excuse me, as well as their Instagram and Facebook and whatever other stuff they have. Let me know down below what you guys thought of this box and what your favorite item was in this box. And with that, I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.